Good morning. Grab yourself a cup of coffee because it's time for another five minute photo adventure from Dartmoor. Yes, good morning, welcome back and another five minute photo adventure from Dartmoor. This morning's location is all about Honeybag Tor here. So Honeybag Tor, we're on the kind of eastern edge of Dartmoor in and around the Hay Tor area. Where I'm actually sitting just now and where I'm going to be shooting my pictures from, this is Chinkwell Tor, but we're going to be foc focusing mostly on Honeybag Tor there in the background. Because what I hope and it should happen this morning because there's barely any clothes. There's going to be the sun rising in there about 10 minutes and that's going to cast the light across the scene there and hopefully give me a scene well worth photographing and one that I'm going to be happy to share with you in this five minute photo adventure. So while you're sitting there drinking your cup of coffee and you're nice and warm and it's minus conditions here and I'm in my thick jacket, you'll get a little bit of inspiration to head out with your camera. But why don't we make a start and see what we can capture. Okay, let me talk you through my first composition. So in the foreground, we've got the kind of back end here of Chinkwell Tor. And there are a couple of things I really like about this particular element of my composition. So first of all, if we kind of come round here, we've got the rocks and they kind of almost curve around here, create this nat natural curve that frames Honeybag Tor there in the middle. So we've got this nice natural frame here. The other thing, and this is classic Dartmoor here, we've got the, the rocks here, we've got these bits of the Tor, and they've got, uh, they're going to catch the morning light just as it comes up here. And that's going to transform that from something flat and grey to something three-dimensional. So we're going to get all this texture and shape from the, the light from that sun, which is just coming up, so I better hurry up. The other thing is we've got these undulations in the ground here as it goes up and down, and it's got all the grasses in there, and they're also going to catch the light and add depth to my picture. Because light, for me in Dartmoor, is critically important. And I mentioned this in a, on my bookshelf video that I did a couple of weeks ago, ago called, uh, it's about a book called The Art of Landscape Photography, well worth checking out, I'll include a link for that in the video description uh, below and in the corner of the screen, and in there it talks about light and I mentioned how important light is to my photographs and it's going to be a key element this morning. And obviously I've got Honeybag Tor there, framed by the rocks here in the background, and believe it or not I've got a little bit of cloud in the sky there, it's just pinking up, just catching that morning light. That sun is just coming so I better take the picture. Changing things up a little bit for my second composition, I've come down a little bit closer to the tail end here of Chinkwell Tor. Still got this gorgeous light, but I've turned the camera to its vertical orientation because for this shot, it's all about creating a sense of depth. I've come closer to the undulations of the ground, which are still catching the light. I've got this kind of bold foreground object here, which is this rock covered in grass. Um, it's actually got, um, would be covered in heather if you came here in August. It looks glorious. It's place in August when all the heather comes out. But I've got all these undulations and they're all catching the light at the moment, creating a real sense of depth. So that's why I've got the camera in a vertical orientation because I want to make the most of that depth as it leads out to the final bit of the rocks there as I catch in the light and then out into Honeybag Tor. Now, there's not much going on in the sky, so probably what I'll do is because that's quite a tall frame because it's vertical, I'll probably crop it to four to five. Keep most of the foreground, but I'll cut out some of the sky because I don't think just take the picture, probably doesn't add much to the composition. And I'm quite happy to crop later on. Well, maybe, maybe, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not it might be all right actually, we'll see what it looks like in post-processing. But what another cracking little morning up here in Dartmoor. The focus of this picture is really about catching the sides of the rocks here in these, this foreground element of Chinkwell Tor here. I've got one just off to the left of the frame, there's another one just in the middle there, and there's one off to the right. I've got to watch my exposure settings because they're changing as it gets lighter. On the three second timer, yeah, perhaps not as good as some of the earlier ones. I think the light is a little bit, bit harsh. Anyway, let me know in the comments below which one of the your images, sorry, which one of the images I've shown you this morning is your favourite? A 
a glorious morning it's turning out to be. Just look at that. Isn't that fantastic? If I didn't have to get back home, I'd be wanting to go for a very long walk on Dartmoor today. It's a glorious morning. I'm not sure what happened to the cloud that was forecast, but I don't mind. It's going to be a nice walk back to the car. But I hope you have enjoyed this little five minute photo adventure. Hope you've enjoyed your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, your whiskey, whatever you're drinking while you're watching these. But if you've got a little bit more extra time, why not check out the five minute photo adventure playlist, which I'm popping up in the corner of the screen. But if you did like this one, remember to like, share, comment, all that good stuff and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more five minute photo adventures from myself. But I'm going to enjoy a nice walk back to the car. But until the next episode, I'll see you then.